Some doctors are calling it a major breakthrough in over-the-counter anti-aging technology. Katherine Shreves is here to tell us what all the buzz is about in tonight's Beauty Breakthroughs. Kath? Hey, Jessica, when it comes to over-the-counter lasers, dermatologists tell us well, there hasn't really been much that's actually worked until now. It's called Palavia and it promises to reverse the signs of aging around the eyes without pain or downtime. Three minutes a day for 30 days. I'm looking forward to getting rid of some of the fine lines here. And the $499 Palavia promises to wipe away wrinkles and turn back time. I think what makes this device good is the wavelength is powerful enough. Also, the energy is high enough so you actually see some clinical results. The Palavia is what's known as a fractional non-ablative laser. It shoots short pulses of laser energy into the skin's collagen, which diminishes as we age, causing skin to wrinkle and sag. So when your collagen absorbs the light, it's heated that causes the collagen to become denatured and repair itself. And when it repairs itself, you will get new collagen growth. 39-year-old Julie is hoping the Palavia will help prevent future wrinkles and treat the ones she has. So you kind of find the wrinkle, then you have to see the blue light. That means it's covering all the skin. And what does it feel like? It feels kind of like a little rubber band, just popping at you. But the Palavia is not a quick fix. So what women do, or men, it's great for men, um, they, they do it once a day for 30 days for three minutes, and then after that you do it two times a week indefinitely. The closest thing to the Palavia at the doctor's office is Fraxel, which runs about three to five hundred dollars a treatment and usually takes three to five treatments to do the trick. So what about side effects? Right after it was red, it probably went away about 12 hours after. Minor swelling and bruising are also possible and for those having trouble tolerating the laser, Dr. Hooper says try starting with the low or medium setting. The device shuts off if it's not in full contact with the skin and only 25 passes are permitted every eight hours. And that's it. It's shut off for eight hours, so you can't overdo it. All right, so what about other parts of the face? A lot of people have asked us about that. Well, the Palavia is only FDA approved for the eye area, but Dr. Hooper says that she believes it is safe to use on other areas of the face, but there's just no clinical data to show how well it will work on areas like the forehead or the cheeks. And to find out more about Palavia, just go to WGNO.com slash beauty breakthroughs.